Hi, everybody. So I am here giving you a lesson today with some materials. Um, you're going to hear a couple little noises in the background because Emily is helping me out with this. Her daddy's still at work, so she's with me while I'm working at home. So we're going to work on a lesson called Notation of Squares. Now, Notation of Squares is a lesson that some of you have already had. Some of you have practiced and you've mastered it, and some of you haven't have it yet. But everybody's ready for it, and I know that there are definitely some people who need to practice it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm also going to show you what you can do for follow-up work after the lesson. So here is the five chain. I can take this chain and fold it, which many of you would recognize from your time in primary. And I'm going to fold it just like this. Yes, I can. You're doing it, Em. Em has the weights, you guys. I know how y'all feel about the weights. She feels the same way. So here I have made a square of five. Now, here it is, sorry. So I have five here. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a ticket to my pencil box. I have five here, and I also have five going up. One, two, three, four, five. I have five here. Now, there's something else in our classroom that looks just like this, isn't there? Rather than it being a chain that we can pull apart, we have a connected and wired five square. So I'm going to trade that out. So we have five and five. We can see that we've taken five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five times. So we can take these two fives and add a multiplication sign. We can see that we have five times five. Now, what is five times five? Well, we can count the beads all individually, or we can skip count, and I think I'm gonna skip count today. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I have a little 25 right here. I also have this ticket. Five times five equals 25. Now I have a question. How many fives, I'm gonna flip this over real quick. How many fives do you see in your number sentence here? We see one five and two fives. So we have a special way of writing five squared in math, just using our paper and pencil. And I wanna show you what that is today. Here it is, we have 25 here. Here is a five, but since we had two fives in our little multiplication problem here, we're going to add a baby two. Well, when you see this floating two, this means to multiply the listed number by itself this number of times. So in this case, sorry, my lighting's being bad. In this case, we're multiplying five times five, two fives. We're not doing five plus five or five times two, because as we can see here in our square, we have five fives. Got it? Okay. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do our six now. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. We're gonna do a couple together. So here we have six. I'm gonna fold it back and forth just like we did before. And let's see. So down here, we have a six. And here we have a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to take this six down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do six times six. And I actually have that right here. And then I'm going to trade out my six chain for a wired six square. Okay, I'm just going to move that up some. Pull my rug straight. There we go. That's better. 
So six times six, <clears throat> who knows what six times six is? Well, you can count the beads. We can skip count six, okay. 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty weight, Emily. Yeah. So 36, now we wanna write we want to notate six squared using numbers in a pencil. So here's the six. And how many sixes do you see in your number sentence here? One, two. So we have six, uh-oh, and a baby two that's reflecting at us. There we go. So let's go ahead and do the four chain. I'm going to do it in order as best as I can, the way my camera is, it's a little tricksy. Yeah, it's tricksy, isn't it, Em? All right, there's our four. I'm gonna do that, you can do that. So here we have four times four. What is four times four? Let's skip count by four. Four, eight, 12, 16. That's a very pretty weight. Emily's showing me this weight. Go put it with the other ones. So it's 16, and we're going to notate it. We have a four, one, two fours in our math sentence or our number Ooh. sentence. So I'm going to notate it with a baby two. Thank you, Emily. So let's do seven. I'm going to fold. Oh, can't excuse me. I'm doing my lesson right now, Emmy. Can I give these back to you? Why don't you build it right there? Build it right there. Uh. All right, there's my seven. I'm gonna replace my chain. <gasps> I didn't do that with my four. <gasps> Isn't that funny? Yeah. Okay, so I have a seven here and a seven here. So that's seven times seven. Ooh, that's a big one. Who knows what seven times seven is? Big. Is it big? Yeah. Well, let's skip count by seven. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. Thank you, Emily. 49, and we're gonna notate it. We need a seven and a baby elephant. Nope, two because we have two sevens in our number sentence right there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over really quick so we can keep going. I'm gonna move this seven all the way down. Maybe we can fit our three chain. Oh yeah, we can fit our Ooh, three chain. Emily. Is it so pretty, Em? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move over our tickets. Normally, when we're not filming, there's not quite as much moving everything around. Filming definitely poses quite an interesting challenge. Now, let's do our three chain. We'll do a little tiny one. Oh, is it so tiny, Em? Yeah. All right. There's three times three. Three times three. We're going to replace it. There we go. What is three times three? Three, oh. six, nine. Sweet. Let's notate this little guy. We need three and a baby two. <gasps> Emily's picked up the two square. Let's do the two square, Emily. Look how teeny tiny this guy is. I'll we'll do this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that, that's the last square, Emily. We have two times two. Two times two is four. And we notate it, and we have a two Ooh. and a baby two. Okay, here's the one chain. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right there. You can barely see it. And we're gonna do one times one. Can you guys figure that answer out? I don't know, it's pretty big. One. And then one and a baby two. Move that up just a little so you can see. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we only have three left, you guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, and we're gonna do the last three. 
You ready? Four. We're going to fold our eight square. Huh? Help. Do that right there. We have eight times eight. And we're going to replace this with our wired eight square. Eight times eight, that's another big one. Does anybody know what eight times eight is? The square of eight. The square of eight. Eight. What's that? That's the tape dispenser. Eight, 16, yeah. 24, Ooh. 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. What's that? 64. What's that? And to notate it, we have an eight and a baby two. Okay, now we're going to do the nine square. It's a one. Sorry, go ahead. You can take the ten chain. And we're going to do nine times nine. Ugh, that's a big one. Uh, we can do nine times ten, which is ninety. We take a nine off there. So ninety minus nine is eighty-one. And then to notate it, we have nine and a baby two. And finally, we have our ten square. 10 times 10, 10 times 10 is, yes, 100. And to notate it, we have a 10, oops, sorry, glare, 10 and a baby two. There we go. So that is the whole lesson. We usually do it in one long row, but with my filming set up today, I don't have that ability. Again, this is the first YouTube lesson, so I will definitely be getting better at this. So, now what we can do is we can move on to follow-up work. What can we do with this at home? Because some of us might have beads at home. You could try to make your own bead squares if you would like to. You would just string a bead and then tie in, you know, string two beads, tie a knot, string two beads, tie a knot, and then you could fold them together. You don't have to have them wired together. However, not everybody has this many beads at home. I know I don't, at least not, you know, big enough beads. So another thing that you can do when you're at home is I'm getting my paper here and I'm going to move over my my really fancy filming rig which is a shelf with a brick and my phone sitting on top of it yay so I'm gonna take some graph paper I have a link for free graph paper that you can just print out right at home and I'm going to draw each one of these. So I'm going to start with my one. Mine. Mine. That is yours. With my little pencil box here. And with the one, you know what? I'm not going to use my ruler. I'm just going to color in a square. Like this. Okay. Then with my two, if I can get it out. Do you see that I colored right on the lines? I didn't color outside the lines. I'm going to color all the way to the edge, make it look as nice as I can, nice and careful. Okay. Here's my two square. Here's my three square. Emily's getting really excited about whatever it is she has discovered. I'm going to color this in. Remember, take your time when you color. It's really lovely to be able to make our work look nice and beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna use yellow for my four. Now I'm just sticking with the colors that we have. I'm just sticking with the colors that we have with our bead chains. Uh, however, you can choose whatever colors you want. Whatever colors you desire. Uh, five is light blue. I like to do that. I like to count. And then I know where I need to color. Ooh, I'm a little out of the line there. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see, six is purple. Is this purple or blue? That's purple. Uh, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And I know where to color. 
Okay, there's that. So seven is white. What I do with my sevens personally, <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut these out so I'm not going completely in order, or you can just leave it like this too. It's whatever you want, but I'm gonna cut mine out. It's beautiful, Emily. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm, did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. That so didn't seem right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm always going to double check myself on these sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Do you like those? Yeah. Are you being so careful? All right, there's our seven square. Oh, good, I did get a brown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, I was like, wait a minute. And then we color. It's kind of fun, you know, usually when I'm in a lesson in class, you guys, I don't actually sit and just do the follow-up work with you. I get you started and then I leave you so you can try to do it all on your own. This is kind of fun, actually. Now, let's see. Nine is dark blue. Let's make sure, yep, this is blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not gonna be able to fit my 10 on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, there we go. Cool, I'm gonna color this. All right, there's that. Let me reach over here. Sorry, Emily kind of got a hold of this paper, but you guys know me, I hate wasting paper. So I shall use this bit up here. And I'm gonna do my 10. I'm gonna start all the way up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. Right, so there's my 10. So here I have all the squares, minus Emily's scribbling. We have all the squares. I'm going to cut them out and I'm gonna paste them on a piece of paper. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna skip ahead in the video here so you don't have to sit and you watch me cut out, you know, 10 squares, because that's not fun. Okay, you guys. So I have everything cut out all of my squares. And there's a couple options you have here. You can keep these squares loose in an envelope or a bag, and you can make your own tickets, much like you see over here, and then you can put them out where they go. What I'm gonna do today is I am going to make a little scroll with them. So I have some blank paper. And I'm gonna glue these bad boys together. You know, glue sticks. You don't want to use too much, but you don't want to use too little. You use too, use too little, it comes right apart. Whoop. There we go. So now we have a nice long piece of paper, and I am going to start pasting my squares. And probably, especially with these little teeny ones, get glue all over myself. But, you know, there are worse things in the world. Try to make it as straight as I can. Oh, that's not bad. I got my two, my three. All right, once I get the three down, I think we're the right size to be able to just, there's my four. I'm gonna glue my four, my five, six. Am I going, am I going off camera? Sure I am move it up here. Where's the seven? There it is. Oh my gosh, I hope this fits. You know what? If it doesn't fit, what can we do? We add more paper. <laughs> it's gonna fit. <laughs> All right, here's eight. Oh, look at that. I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? We fit all of these in two columns on one piece of paper. But guess what? Do not despair. So 
so here we have everything glued, except for the ten. I have another piece of paper. Emily is real excited about it, guys. So I'm going to use the back of Emily's scribble paper. Because again, you guys know me, I hate wasting paper. There. So I'm going to glue this to here. Yeah, um. Okay. Let's try to make it nice and straight. There we go. Oh, there. More paper to the rescue. Glue, 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 glue. There. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil. What happened? Oh, it's okay. We're going to do one times one equals one, which is one squared. Two times two equals four which is two squared. Gigi. Gigi's not here, baby. Gigi. Nine equals three squared. Gigi is grandma. Grandma was supposed to watch her for me all week, but she had to go back to Maryland. Four times four equals 16, which is four squared. Five times five equals, whoa. 25, which is five squared. You know, all these equal each other. They're all the same. One squared is the same as one times one, and one squared is the same as one. Just like five squared is the same as 25. So I'm just gonna put equal signs. Six times six equals 36, which is six squared. Seven times seven equals 49. Seven squared. Oops, I got my equal sign. Eight times eight equals sixty-four, which equals eight squared. Ah! My scroll is too long. I'm gonna hold that there. Nine times nine equals eighty-one, which equals nine squared. And ten times ten equals one hundred which equals 10 squared. Here, I'm gonna just turn it this way. I have my scroll. Now it's raining outside, so normally what I would do is I would pick two sticks and I would attach it and glue it and roll it. However, it's pouring and all the sticks are wet and I don't wanna ruin my work. So what I can do is I can just roll it up. Got rolled all crazy. Remember when that happens? Lightly tap. And I'm gonna tie a ribbon around it. And that's my scroll. All right, guys, that's the end of the lesson. Sorry about the toddler. Oh, hoping it just added some cute factor. Oh, she has gotten into the fractions. Would you guys? Oh dear. Yep, that's okay. All right, guys, thanks. I look forward to our next video.